$3 trillion last year on what we call healthcare, which is predominantly sick care, 86% of which was for treating chronic diseases that can be largely often prevented or even reversed by making lifestyle changes. Life literally changed overnight for me. I was no longer a young, healthy physician. I was now an MS patient, and I myself was admitted to the hospital. The number one cause of death in the United States and the number one cause of disability in the United States is our diet. Let's serve food on one floor of the hospital that causes the coronary disease and then the treatment on another floor of the same building. And, you know, we're basically profiting from both causing disease and treating disease. This may be the first generation in which our kids may live a shorter lifespan than their parents. Let's be honest, the number of medical schools are run by Farmageddon. We need to get to the root cause where lifestyle is used is that therapeutic intervention to prevent, treat, and even reverse so much of our chronic disease. Heart disease, cancer, stroke, diabetes, dementia, respiratory disease, 80% of that chronic disease burden we see in the world around us doesn't need to exist. Throughout four years of medical school, four years of residency, and then another two years of subspecialty training, none of my mentors or educators had ever commented on a connection between diet and disease. This was new to me, and I was struck by it. There is a severe nutrition deficiency in education. This is so common sense, and why aren't the large schools, the Ivy League schools, why are they not looking at this in terms of training a good physician? Now, going to medical school means that you're going to learn about diet, about exercise, how to do it for yourself, and how to help your patients change. Doctors who say, I don't want to be a pill factory anymore. I don't want to just be an assembly line of prescriptions. I want to change people's lives. So the logical question you might have for me is, how does an infectious disease specialist evolve into a lifestyle medicine physician? Medicine is at the cusp of what is truly a seismic revolution in health. I invited you all here today because I, I wanted to show you what medicine can be and how all of us working together, we can change not only healthcare, but the future of our country.